Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching Channel Hot Monkey and in this video we're going to see a ridiculously simple and quick way of creating a anaglyph 3D text effect using GIMP. So without any small talk, let's get straight into business. We're going to open up GIMP, first things first. And before I do anything, I always like to show which particular version of the program I'm using. So if I click on help about GIMP, you can see right here that I'm using GIMP version 2.8.14. Now let's just get that out of the way and start the tutorial. So we're going to start by clicking on File, New, and we're going to create a HD image. So we're going to go Full HD by going 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height. Now we're going to click OK. Let's just zoom out a bit by hitting the minus button on our keyboard. Now the obvious thing we want to do here is create our text. So we're going to create a text box using the text tool. For the font, I'm going to use a font called Hacked. Now this is a replica of a very well-known font from the popular Ubisoft game Watch Dogs. This is something that you can download for free on the internet and the site where you can download it from will be linked in the description. They allow you to use it for free. The only thing is that you have to, you know, link the creator so that they can get credit for their work. So for the size of the text, we're going to start with something like 150 and then we're going to adjust it later on click on the box and we're gonna write our text so for this particular tutorial we're simply gonna write anaglyph 3d oops okay so the size of the text is fairly small so we're gonna adjust it by going a bit bigger and we're gonna leave it at let's say 290 now let's get rid of the spare space in the text box now we're gonna select our alignment tool click on the text and we're gonna align it on the horizontal scale and on the vertical scale now the next thing we're gonna do is highlight this text layer and we're gonna duplicate it next thing we're gonna wanna do is select the top text layer and go to our text tool click on the text down here we're gonna choose the color called cyan now what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the description area below this video and you're going to find this HTML notation for the color. You're going to copy it and simply paste it right here. Hit OK and you should get this color. For the other text layer, again, we're going to select it with our text tool. And we're going to simply go with a basic red color. Select it, hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select our move tool and select one of those layer preferably the top one but it doesn't matter click on the text and using your arrows on your keyboard you're simply gonna move the text pixel by pixel to one side so I'm gonna go right now there's no particular measure how much you are supposed to go right here it's something that is totally up to you it's your preference so I'm gonna take it right just another pixel and I'm gonna leave it at that Okay, so we're almost done. What we're going to do lastly is select the top layer and then for the mode, instead of normal, we're going to select multiply. And that should create your anaglyphic effect right there. And that's it. This is your anaglyphic text. I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube which explain how to do this in GIMP, but most of them are sort of complicated. They don't really have any commentaries. So I decided to mess around with this a little bit mess around with some of the layer modes up here and basically you can get this effect simply by creating these two text layers one red one cyan simply select the top layer change the mode to multiply and there you have it now one thing you might want to have in mind while using this effect is that you cannot merge the two layers of text because if you do that then you're gonna lose this whole effect so if I right click on this one and hit merge down we get this. We totally lose the cyan color, so this is something that you want to avoid. Of course, this is just an example where we have plain text. You can always adjust you know, the whole image the way you want. Maybe you can have certain particular background. Maybe you might want to rotate the text so that you get an even better 3D effect. Whatever you want. But this is basically the technique in GIMP that you want to use in order to get the whole anaglyph text effect. So anyways, you guys, I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more GIMP tutorials, let me know in the comments. And we'll see what we can do. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay strong.